Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Science, specialized in pulling your hair out, struggle and failed some subjects, struggling, struggle to pull your GPA up. It's very, very difficult. It starts getting real here. Hey guys, this is a dummy's guide to NTUCS by an NTUCS graduate. I thought I would do a video that would recollect my entire four years in NTU and like the generic stuff or the general stuff that you guys should know and things that I wasn't told when I was in NTU as a student. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not a four or five pointer. I don't have a first class honors, just a normal guy in NTU CS and been through a bunch of things, failed some subjects. If you're looking for a guide on how to ace NTU CS or maybe even a video like one of those vlogs of oh, a day in the life of an NTU CS student, then and this is not the video for you. You shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> but if you're someone who knows you might struggle and you genuinely want to navigate through NTUCS safely and get to that job that gives you a coveted, you know, the coveted compensation that all NTU or you know all computer science students so-called get, this is the video for you. Now, when I mean navigating safely, it's not just grades. It's also you know CCA exams, course modules, admin finance, the tech that you need. So there's a whole bunch of videos or a whole bunch of you know information that I have and I'm just putting it out there for you guys today. The first thing, first thing you would have to decide is what type of student you want to be. Whether you want to be that studious person who's just studying every day or you want to be someone who's not so into the studying, you want to socialize, you want to gain context, you want to focus on your job outside. You need to decide which one you want to be and based on that you can make most of your decisions through NTU itself. If you do try to do well in both, or you try to be both people, you are gonna find yourself at crossroads a lot of the times, and you are gonna find yourself struggling through both. And it will affect your morale and you know, like just your general outlook at uni. It just becomes very dark and moody. This is not like JC or Poly where everything stops when you have exams. Everything carries on when you have exams and when you have tests, when you have common tests, when you have midterm tests. Everything that you do in uni, you're going to have to give 110%. And if you are giving every hour of your life 110%, you are gonna burn out. So let me just start with a general description of what each year will be like. Year one, I mean, my best possible advice would be to study as hard as possible in year one. Like go out with a few friends, get to know people. If you're in hall, first year you are confirmed a place in hall. You just don't know which hall yet. If you have seniors in there, get them to you know recommend you in. But here's the thing, you will very easily get swept away by all the events and all the socializing and all the clubs and all the activities. Beware, because if you do not do well in your first year, that is setting the basis or the, the, the base level GPA. So if you don't do well in your first year, you are going to struggle to pull your GPA up for the next four years or the next three years. Speaking this from experience, just saying. It's gonna be very, very difficult for you to pull up your GPA if you're doing very badly early on. It's okay if you do very well early on, then later on you drop a beat, still okay. So make sure your first year study as much as you can, make some friends, get a few buddies in your own course, okay? Make sure to go for course camp. Even if you never go for your hall one, even if you never go for your student union one, make sure you go for your school one so you can get a few friends, plan your timetables with them, and then you do the group projects and you do the tutorials and everything together with them. That most of the time gets you through really, really tough situations in terms of academics. Year two, start to network, join clubs, join everything that you wanna do, Go and help people, help the community, save a dog, save a cat. Whatever you want to do, go and do. Go to club. I think most of the clubs have now closed down. It's pretty bad in the club scene now, I think. <laughs> but yeah, um, most of the clubs that I went to in year one, year two are almost, I think all of them are closed down except for Zoo. So yeah, go out, have fun a little, study at the same time, but go further, go and socialize a bit more. Make a lot of friends, make a lot of contacts because these are the people that you're going to keep around longer you're gonna keep around after you leave uni and one guy will probably be your insurance agent and another guy will probably be your property agent these people are very very important now year three it starts getting real here start figuring out what working is in working world a lot of students that i've realized in ntucs when i talk to them they don't really know what the working computer science world is like i had the benefit of working in some startups before school, I knew, kind of knew what had to be expected. And that's why I always felt like I'm not learning what I need to learn to help me with my job or the interviews. You have internship, 
all right? Most of them do their internships in year three, SEM two. SEM one, you're finishing a lot of your modules, probably have completed data structures and algorithms by then. You should start doing your hacker rank and lead code so that you, know, you can do well in your interviews and you can probably get a job for your internship in SAM2. At the end of the day, your GPA doesn't really matter when you're going into a non-finance company. You need to have good problem solving skills and using data structures and algorithms is the main way that you solve problems in most of coding or programming. So to help with that as well, make sure you go and watch interview videos online. There's a whole huge bunch of them. I'll let you guys know more about interviewing in another video. So this is just a generic one. And hopefully you can find what you want to specialize in. Game dev, web dev, Android development, iOS development. You know, there's a bunch of specializations that you can go to in terms of the workplace. Uh, apart from what NTU offers you as, an, as a specialization and try to get an internship in those fields, in those areas. Even though it may not be exactly what you want, if you are from that company, you can still learn what is going on and how they do the work. Also, for those of you wondering if you can do concurrent modules with your internship, I've already asked the admin because I wanted to reduce my load as well. I asked the admin whether I could do that. The admin said, no, you can't. For computer science, you're not allowed to do that. I know business, I think they allow that. They want you to fully focus on your internship, which is weird because internship is just kind of pass fail. So those who put in a lot of effort into it also don't really get an A or what, it's just a pass. And if you don't put in effort, you get a fail, which is quite stupid, honestly, please put in the effort. Year four, this is the year you start specializing and you start learning about MPEs and technical mods and all that. So MPEs are basically the modules that you need to get your specialization. You need three modules from that particular specialization to get that line under your resume saying Bachelor of Engineering, Computer Science, specialized in AI or data science. Each specialization requires three modules and usually students go for two specializations but I went for one. So there is a reason for it, I'll tell you guys later. If you're one of the smarter ones, you probably have only three or four modules left by the first SEM in year four. If you're not one of the smarter ones like myself, you probably have six to seven modules and you're still pulling your hair out every time you have multiple exams or multiple labs to attend. You are probably going to have more trouble getting ready for the interview and the job life out there. You know, you have less time to practice on lead code and hacker rank, less time to do interviews. I would suggest the first semester focus on your studying and like clearing your modules. And if you really feel like, you know, you want to have an easier time and you want to have spend more time on the job, then you can, like I said, go for just one specialization where you take three modules in that particular specialization or for the first semester, you take maybe two or one module that's related to that specialization and you take another two easier modules from some other specialization. Uh, you don't have to be specific and then the second SEM you make sure you take another two or one module depending on what you did in the first SEM related to that specialization then you get that one specialization now let's not forget the big thing the final year project that is compulsory you have to do internship you have to do final year project some people when they do their internships in fourth year SEM 2 they would have done their FYP starting in SEM 3 year 2 and if you've done your internship in SEM 3 year 2 then your FYP is year 4 SEM 1 to year 4 SEM 2 so FYP really really important it also helps you gain experience. So I would suggest you guys try to get something like that, something that's hands-on. I know a lot of people don't want to do too much work so they end up going for research and in fact research-based topics are more abundant. It may be difficult to get something that's hands-on, really dependent on your professor and I'm glad I got a good professor. Don't skimp on your FYP, make sure you do it well. Okay so that was year-specific advice, right? So I now have that whole other segment where I have sections of information based on different things in uni. Yep, I think this has been a long enough video. I know this is a tech channel. Um, the only reason I'm posting this here is because it's NTU CS, which is related to tech. And I do have more to share uh, in terms of the other categories. So make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And of course, tap that notification bell to know when I post the next video. And I hope you guys do well. I'm Thiru and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Shh.